great start, great effort. I know it's got to be a little frustrating to come away with the no decision, but uh, you've got to be pleased with your outing today. Yeah, I was really lucky to actually come away with a no decision. I just got to limit the walks. I had a lot of walks this game. I mean, I just got to let my defense work behind me. That's about it. A lot of hit batsmen for the staff, uh, especially today as well. Uh, the unusual situation. Yeah, there were for sure. I mean, uh, we tried to go inside to a lot of their hitters and they're crowding the play. We just, if you're going to go in, miss in. That's our philosophy. So. Always been curious. You have to make that transition every series from field player to pitcher. What do you have to do just mentally to get yourself prepared for that? I know you know it's going in when you go into each series, but what do you do to make that change? I mean, the transition's always been easy because I've been an outfielder my whole life as well as a pitcher. So, I mean, ever since high school, I've just been doing the same exact thing. And we, uh, we have the driveline program here, and that gets me really focused in on pitching. Is that as far as you've gone in a game uh, not allowing a hit, going five and a third today? Uh, no, it, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, go to the guy who came to back you out, he'll get him to bail out the interview here too. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Dylan, uh, a strong outing there and uh, you know, relying on the, the start of Trevor, but uh, what did you get from their hitters? What did you do against them today? Uh, I, mean, I knew that they were going to be a tough group of guys. Uh, we were working in, like uh, Trevor said. Uh, had, I had a lot of confidence coming in. Uh, just let them hit the ball and get my outs. Was a little tough for the staff just kind of as a whole after the way they started this series in the first game on Friday with the home run, home run, home run. Uh, you guys had to talk amongst yourselves and say, we, we got to bear down a little bit here. Yeah, um, we had to talk after the uh, the first game when they had uh, five, the five runs in the first inning, a couple home runs. Uh, we just needed to keep the ball low and let them hit it. Back out on the road, obviously a little bit different parks, especially in terms of size. What will you guys as a staff do? How do you throw differently at some of the smaller parks on the road than you do here? Um, definitely a little bit more off speed, uh, probably down in a way mostly. Uh, well, not only the game winner, but uh, you've got to be pleased with a good day at the plate overall for you. Yeah, no, it was a pretty good day. Started off the first game two for four. I was feeling good in the box. And you know, that last AB, I knew they were going to start me off with a curve because I, you know, I had, a, had a few bad swings on them earlier, but I just stuck to my approach, you know, hunted the fastball, and it turned out pretty well. So you kind of got yourself right in the frame you wanted to be before you even started the at-bat. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking, you know, first pitch curve, take it, see where it's at, and then just look for the fastball because the guy was trying to overpower us, and I was ready for it. What's it mean for you guys to uh, bounce back and, you know, a hard-fought victory over the team that's leading the conference? I think it's huge to assess the momentum going into next weekend, you know, coming into the final four games of the series and everything. We want to get that momentum, and we're a lot hot next weekend against Central. And you go back against Central, the team that you've had some pretty decent success with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're looking to go out there and hit them hard, get a couple wins in the first couple of days, and close up the weekend like we do pretty well.